Hello guys, my name is Shaima. Right, in this tutorial video, we'll be doing Panorama Editor. So you guys can go to Gallery, go to Panorama, and up here, you can click Edit VR Panorama. Do not click this Edit button. Ah. This one is different. You must go to this button, Edit VR Panorama. Then you can click Open Editor. But if you rename your floor plan or you edit anything in your floor plan, you need to press Update Floor Plan first. Then you can go to open editor. Alright, so this is the panorama editor. You can see on your left side, this is all the panorama that you have done. And make sure there are finished rendering before you go to panorama editor. Okay, so you can see one by one, check whether it's correct. Okay, so on the right side, this is the scene basic setting. You can try delete the scene if your room name and your panorama is incorrect. Let's say the standing room but the panorama is at kitchen. So you can delete the scene. Okay, select the room and press delete scene. Okay, I will try delete a few panorama. Okay, delete my kitchen. Alright, so now you can try add the missing panorama. So you can click this button, add new scene, select the correct room master bedroom and select the correct panorama for master bedroom click confirm okay and you can add more so i will add my kitchen and select the correct panorama for kitchen okay so this is my kitchen click confirm and last one my dining room okay so this is my dining room all right then click confirm once you have add all the panorama, okay, you can try this new button, upload and replace render. Let's say I want to replace my render in car porch. Okay, I don't like this panorama. I want to upload from my previous project. You can click this upload. Okay, but you need to go back to this page. Okay, this one you can close. Go to your gallery. You can find any panorama from your previous project. Okay, so this one, let's say I download this one from my uh, newest project. And you need to download the original panorama as well in your current project. So you have two panorama that you need to upload. Okay, the new panorama and the original panorama. Okay, click upload. Then you can check your download folder. Okay, so you need to select both panorama. Okay, upload one by one another one then you need to wait for a while okay so once you see it already upload you can click this button replace render and click the small button use the scene and the panorama will automatically change you can import panorama from your previous project. Just use these two buttons, upload and replace render. Okay, so let's go to the next button. Okay, this one. This is edit roaming hotspot. Okay, so we'll start with living room. Okay, so this is my living room. Right, so let's say from living room, I want to go to my next room, which is kitchen. Okay, so I can create door tag. You can click this button, create door tag. Go to my next room, kitchen. So I select kitchen panorama, then click confirm. So this is a door tagging. You can drag to the floor and you can also change the arrow. Okay, click this button, change the arrow to the right. Okay, next, if I rotate my panorama, I can see the staircase. So I can add another door tag, go to the next room, master bedroom. Okay, and I can change the arrow. All right. And then we have another panorama to link, which is the car porch. So you can create door tag, go to car porch, confirm. You can drag to this door, drag the door tag to the door, and you can change the arrow. Okay, so this one I will change, go to the right. Okay, so this is the door tag in living area. Then you can go to the next room, which is car porch. Okay, so I select car porch. And you can create one door tag, go back inside to living room. So I select living room and click confirm. Okay, this one you can drag to the door and change the arrow. Go inside. Alright. 
So this is a tagging. Then we go to the next room. Okay, I start with master bedroom. Alright, so here I can create door tag, go back downstairs to living room. Okay, then you can drag the door tag to the door as well. Here, and you can change the arrow, go downward. Okay, go downstairs. Alright, so then we proceed with kitchen. Okay, go back to living room. Okay, so here kitchen, we need to add door tag going to the next room which is our dining room. So I create dot tag, go to the next room, which is dining room. Click confirm. Okay, drag the tagging here. You can drag anywhere you want. I will drag to the floor. Okay, change the arrow to the left. Next, I need to add another dot tag, go back to kitchen. Otherwise, I can go, but I cannot come back to previous room. Okay, so I create two dot tag. Okay, all right. Next, we go to the last room, dining room. Okay, so there's nowhere else to go. So you just create one door tag, going back to kitchen. Or you can directly go back to living room, up to you. Okay, so I'll go to kitchen. Drag the door tag here. Change the arrow if you want. Okay, go to the right. Okay, so if you have done, you can click save button up here, click save. Then you can click preview to see the outcome. Alright, so you can see if I write it, I can see all the door tags. Okay, you can click the tagging and it will direct you to the next room. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Okay, from kitchen, you can click this tagging, go to dining. Okay. Then you can go back to kitchen. Okay, so here I can go back to living room. And when I rotate to other side, I can go to next room, master bedroom. Okay, but if you don't want to click the door tagging, you can click this button, room. So you can go to other room by clicking this image. Like this one, I go to car porch. Alright, so this is the door tagging. Remember, this button will link all your panorama together. So next, we go to the third button, create replace product. This one, you need to submit more than two panorama, but I have two panorama only, so I select both panorama. And you need to put title, what product you change. Here, I change the wallpaper. Click confirm. If you have five different products, then you need to submit five panorama with different product inside, and you need to upload in here. Okay? So then we go to the fourth button, create product tags. Okay, for product tag, you can put link in this box. Okay, so let's say I use a real product, real brand. Okay, let's say this side table I use from IKEA. So I can open an IKEA web page. Okay, IKEA side table. Okay, you can open the page and copy the link. Okay, so the link is up here. You can right click and press copy. Okay, click copy and go back to Panorama Editor. Create product tag. Okay, so paste the link here. This one you need to press Ctrl V. Press Ctrl V to paste the link. And you put title, side table. Down here you can put briefly introduction if you want. Then you can drag the tagging to the product. All right, so. Then remember click save. Last one we have music. You can add music to the panorama. So you choose the music. Okay, you can upload your own music, but make sure it must be in MP3 format. Okay, so you can try open the training material. The music is in file number eight. Okay, you can try import this file. Okay, just click upload. Once it's uploaded in here, you can, you can click the small button, use this music. Alright, and then you need to click apply to other scenario. Okay, so you can click all the panorama. Whenever you go to the next room, you will hear the same music. Alright, click save. Okay, so let's see the outcome. You can click preview. Alright, we go to the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Okay, so let's see the product replacement we add just now. Click this wallpaper tagging and you can see the panorama on the left side. 
Okay, you can change the view. You can see the wallpaper is changing. You can try change other product as well, such as the bed or the carpet. Okay, so let's go to the site table. Click the link and you can see the IKEA web page. Your customer also can see the price tag. All right, so this is the uh, product tagging. Okay, and one more thing for the music also. When you go to other room, okay, you will hear the same song and you can turn off the music up here. Supposedly we can hear the music, but I didn't record the music part. Okay, so we have done all the five buttons on the right side. Now we go to the top ribbon, this one, expiration date. Okay, you can click this button and you can click add. All right, so when you add, you can select the expired date. Okay, let's say next Monday. And you can also select the expired time. Okay, so let's say uh, around 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. All right, once you create, click create button, you can copy this link and give to your customer or your colleague. Okay, so let's say they open the link on Tuesday, then cannot already. Okay, the link will crash because exit the expired date. You can add more if you want. If you don't want, just click delete. Delete. Alright, so this is expired link for your panorama. Okay, there's other uh, such as QR code. Okay, this one down here also have link. Uh, but this one, there's no expired. Okay, if you copy this link and give to your customer, they can view the panorama 24 hour unless you go offline. You can click this button to go online back. Then your customer can see the panorama. Alright, so here we have the basic setup. Okay, basic setup is usually to rename your panorama. You can see when I click the link, I can see this title, 20 December class. So you can try replace it. Okay, and don't forget to put uh, some details down here. Okay, this is for the introduction. Okay, and you need to put some keyword as well. Okay, you can put a few words. Then click save. All right. Then you can try refresh the page. Okay, try refresh the page first. Okay. Then open the link again. Click preview. Okay, you can see the name also changes. So basic setup is to change your panorama name. Alright, next we go to generate video. Okay, so this one you can record a short video in any room that you want. Let's say we go to kitchen. Okay, I want to record a short video in kitchen. So you adjust your angle, maybe start from this corner. And here you can select the speed. And you can select the time. Okay, maximum you can only record up to 20 seconds. Okay, you can make it portrait mode and hide the logo if you want. Then select the music from here. You cannot upload music here. Ah. Okay. Then you click start. It will record like this. Lah. Once have done, then you can click save. It will automatically save in your download file in your PC. Alright. So this is generate video. So we already know how to use the buttons in Panorama Editor. I guess you guys can try out yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.